Greetings, I'm Suzanne Tickemeyer, Suzanne Harper Tickemeyer on Facebook, and I'm the admin of No Longer Quivering, and also Jerks for Jesus, two sites where I track the crazy behavior of a lot of fundamentalists, including Mr. Larry Solomon. Coming to you live today from my bedroom, hopefully the video is a little clearer, the light is better. I still don't like the way the light reflects off my eyeballs, but hey, be forewarned, my husband may drop through here totally naked in a few minutes because he tends not to wear a whole lot of clothing here in Costa Rica. I don't blame him. It's too hot to wear clothes. Anyway, today we have to talk about the whole of what's happening with the whole biblical gender roles mess with Larry's 1 and Larry's 2. First, let me say that neither Larry or his lone supporter understand what I am. I'm a Cajun, a Cajun that hates injustice and has swam, sw I've swam many times the waters, the colors of sweet tea with alligators back in my hometown. And now sometimes I walk through the crocodile estuary. I don't frighten or bully very easily at all. That's the mistake Larry is making, thinking that he's gonna scare me. Some time ago, I received an interesting chart from a lady who with a bunch of other ladies had relentlessly researched Larry. Yes, Larry, it's not men that have come after you, it is women. They had links to various Larry-related works, including some very old Larry things on places like the Wayback Machine. After reading through the long list, I could see there were too many things that just lined up too perfectly in proving that Larry won, Larry Solomon, and Larry too, Larry who is that very hairy, ponderous man, were the same person, very likely. I made the decision to release Larry's real name because quite frankly, I hate evil little weasels that hide behind fake names. Generally when people do that, it's because their statements are either illegal, criminal, just plain old nasty, and socially unacceptable which is pretty much what Larry is in a nutshell. Keep in mind that Larry has approved of all kinds of crazy things, from forceful armed overthrow of the federal government, yes, he did say that. He bragged about withholding pain medicines from his disabled wife and uh, advocates for very young marriage and the most disgusting of all, marital rape. Marital rape, I mean, that is just pretty nasty. In most of these things that he's advocating are about is legal as snorting a pile of cocaine the size of Mount Everest. Not very legal at all. I release a name only, not the job, not the names of family members, not his address, none of those things, because I had no wish to ever harm his children or his wife. I didn't want to see anything happen to them. Larry, too, wrote a long, whiny threat to Pathios that was passed off to me. Yes, I have a copy of Larry's complaint, Larry, too's complaint, because Larry, too, was claiming his wife and kids were being harassed on their Facebook accounts. I took down the name and the information. Larry proceeded to close his, all of his Facebook accounts, all of them connected to him, and completely edited out a lot of the nastier information. Thank God for screen caps, of which I have quite a few. He's removed many of the illegal things that he has said there. Larry, too, locked up all his Facebook accounts and his family's Facebook accounts. The interesting thing to me about the Facebook claims is that immediately after Larry, too, claimed his wife and kids were being harassed on Facebook, I, along with several official others, took a look at their Facebook accounts. No activity at all for quite some time. No such activity, no posted threats, nothing to nada. Is this another Larry lie? Larry one posted a long piece supposedly debunking the claims in the info, including stating the list of the evidence was wrong because he only had four children and the list stated he had five. Well, too bad I have a screen cap of Larry one speaking of his five children in, in great detail. Is that another lie? There are also so many screen caps from Larry, his one's website and various social media showing that he's lying about nearly everything in his debunking this possible identity. Here's the rich part. 
When I posted the list of Larry evidence at Jerks for Jesus, I stated I thought it was likely true, but was not 100% certain of those allegations. Larry's behavior since that day has done nothing more than confirm that it is him. I was initially partially skeptical, but I'm not skeptical any longer. He's fomented and thrown way too many temper tantrums over this for it not to be true. He never reacted like this when people accused him of being some guy named Ryan, some guy named Larry Ham, some other guy named Matt Perkins. Why is he now throwing a complete temper tantrum and stomping his feet, unless this is true? Now, I have to address the sole supporter of Larry Solomon, Stephanie, from the blog Girl with a Dragonfly Tattoo. Yes. You've accused me of threatening your husband. I have a screen cap of that too. That simply never happened. I reported on your awful ideas once or twice on No Longer Quivering, making mention of the rumor that you use your husband's position in the police department to gain information to threaten people with doxing. Which, if this is true, is really heinous and can see your husband lose his job. It's a violation of the sacred trust that we place in our law enforcement. Saying this is not a threat because clearly I don't even know which police department he works for. And I'm too busy with my real life, like remodeling my house to bother with a very minor leak blogger like, like Stephanie. It's very disturbing to me to see that this blogger is behaving in a way that does not uphold the dignity, the integrity, and character of a spouse of law enforcement officers should hold them. Stephanie has threatened to dox me. Go for it, Stephanie. I live my life publicly. There is no doxing because I use my real name and I'm very open about who and what I am. Your husband will only find parking tickets and a disagreement once with the IRS that resolved in my favor, not in the IRS's favor. I'm 59 years old, older than dirt, living in Central America. I'm living my best life ever. Best life ever. Um, I take a boatload of medications. What else can I tell you about myself or my mast cell and from my asthma? Oh, the maid's name is Sylvia, the gardener's Juan. Our pool boy is Alejandro. There are monkeys and parrots in the backyard? Not much else to tell. I went to Nicaragua yesterday and later today I'm off to the capital here to do some shopping for my guest house. I'm actually pretty excited. Life is sweet. That's it. I'm very done with the tale of the two Larrys now. Others have this information, but not from me. They were given it before I was given it. I've been interviewed several times by media sources over this story, but they're considering reporting it. Reporting on the outing of Larry because of the awful things that he has said publicly. Some bloggers have received this info from others. Uh, and a couple of uh, video bloggers. More and more information has come forward from those ladies that I have not released. And it all continues to pour in like so much raw sewage. Uh, like in a broken sewer pipe. Expect this story to spread. Y'all have a wonderful day. Pura Vida.